Hello children. So we're back for video two now. And we're still learning about length. Okay, and length is looking at how tall something is, how long it is, or how short it is. We compare the length. Okay. So in the last video, we you talked about the language we could use to describe length. And we discussed how we could say that the green pen is longer than the yellow pen. They start at the same point, okay? The green pen, the length finishes here. While the green pen, sorry, the yellow pen's length, oh look, starts here and finishes there. While the green pen's le length starts here and finishes there. So we could say the green pen is longer than the yellow pen we'd say the yellow pen is shorter than the green pen. Now what we're going to do today is we're actually going to try and measure the length of these objects. We can calculate how long they are using a unit of measure. Now you might know how to measure length. You might have used a ruler at home to measure the length of objects. But some of you might not have a ruler at home. I don't have a ruler at home. All my rulers are at school. Did you know that we can use anything to measure the length of an object? As long as it's the same thing. So, we could use these cubes to measure the length of the pen. But we have to make sure that the cubes we use are exactly the same. Now I know that these cubes are exactly the same. They're the same length. Now I'm going to measure the length of this pen using the cubes. Where do I need to put my first cube, do you think, children, to measure the length of the pen? Yes, I need to put it at the starting point. So I'm going to put one there. Now, we can see at the moment that the yellow pen is still longer than the cube. We need to get the cubes to be at the same point as the pen and then we'll have a measurement. So let's see how many cubes fit on the yellow pen. And we're trying to be as accurate as possible. That means we're trying to be as careful and precise. We're trying to make sure it fits properly. Okay, so don't think we can get one more in there. So we'll say that is as good as it's going to get. So let's count how many cubes the pen is. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. We can say that the yellow pen is six cubes long. It's six cubes long. Okay, six cubes long, because we can fit six cubes in there. Okay, six cubes long. I'm going to take the yellow pen away, and we're going to remember that was six cubes long. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write the number six. And I'm going to put these back. Let's now measure the green pen. Now, if I'm going to compare... The length of these objects. I need to use the same unit of measurement and I was using the cubes so I must use the cubes to measure the green pen as well. Right so I put my first cube at the starting point. One, two, three, and we're trying to be accurate, push them close together, four, Five, six, seven. So I can write that down. So, and we can put it there actually, can't we, and compare it. So the green pen is seven cubes long, while the yellow pen is six cubes long. Okay, and we used cubes. To measure the length. 
Now you might not have cubes at home children and that's okay because you could use pasta. I found some pasta at home. Now what you have to make sure though is you have to make sure that the pasta, all the bits of pasta are the same length. Okay, there they are. They're the same. If you get a packet of pasta, the pasta is usually the same length. So we know they're the same, they're a unit of measure. Shall we measure how long, we'll measure how long the length, measure the length of the panda pen using the pasta. So where do I have to put my first piece of pasta, children? You're right. It has to go at the start. Now, this is a bit more fiddly, isn't it? So I'm going to put that at the starting point. And I'm going to get another piece of pasta. I'm going to put it there. It's next to it, as close as it can be. I can fit another bit of pasta in there, can't I? Oh, just about. There we go. So, what can I say the length of the panda pen is? Hmm. I could say the pen is three pieces of pasta long. It's three pieces of pasta long. Okay, so three pieces of pasta long. Now, what about spaghetti children? Could I use spaghetti to measure my panda pen? Right, so I have two pieces of spaghetti. Okay, can I use this to measure my panda pen? Do you remember what I told you before? It's really important. We have to make sure that the, the unit of measure, what we're, using to, what we're using to measure something is exactly the same. Is this bit of pasta the same as that bit of pasta? No. These pastas are different lengths. They're not the same. So we can't use those to measure something. We can use our pasta to measure something because they're the same lengths. We can use the cubes to measure because they are the same lengths. Okay. What I would like you to do, children, is have a go at measuring some objects in your house. Okay, have a go at measuring some objects in your house. And you can use a unit of measure that you have at home. If you have cubes at home, you could use cubes. If you've got pasta that's the same length, you could use pasta. I'm trying to think what else you might be able to use. Oh, Lego. If you, you could use Lego, as long as you use pieces of Lego that are the same size. Okay, you couldn't have one really long piece of Lego and one really short piece of Lego, could we? No, we couldn't. They have to be the same size. So let me get, oh, I'll get my pot of pens. This will be a big one. Right, so here's my posh pens I got for Christmas because I like to do some colouring. I like to do colouring. And I want to measure the length Okay, the length of this pen pot. And I'm going to measure the length of the pen pot using my pink cubes. And this is what you're going to have a go at doing at home. You're going to measure objects at home using something like this. Okay, but making sure that they are the same. And I have to put my first cube at the starting point. So my Pens start here, so I'll put one there. I hope I'm going to have enough cubes. There's two. I need to go all the way to the end point, don't I? Three. I hope you can see this. Four. I hope I'm going to have enough cubes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, 
nearly there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Can we fit another one in? We might be able to. Fourteen. Wow. So my pen pot is fourteen cubes long. Wow. Now, your job is to have a go at measuring some of your objects at home using a unit of measure. And remember, you can use cubes if they're the same length. You could use pasta if they're the same length. And that is my doorbell. Ooh.